everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird. Come on. Archie! <laughs> if you've been around for a while and you're part of the pastel flock, then you might know that I just got back from Japan. So while I was in Japan, a couple of absolutely amazing things happened. First, I got engaged. Mum and Dad got engaged! Second, ah! I finally got monetized on YouTube. Finally. <laughs> I don't believe it. I still can't believe that, that actually happened. And third, I still can't believe this. I... <laughs> I was standing in line, waiting to buy a ticket to get on a Shinkansen, and I got an email. And it was from Dolls Kill. And they wanted to collab. And I read it. And I cried. I literally <laughs> bawled my eyes out like a little girl standing in this line in a train station crying because Dolls Kill to me represents so much more than just a clothing brand and I'm sure that it does for a lot of you guys too like that's probably why you clicked on this video because you're interested in Dolls Kill. To me Dolls Kill is kind of one of those benchmark brands that growing up I was always like I really, I want to get something from Dolls Kill one day, but as you probably know, it's kind of pricey. I mean, not just kind of pricey, it's like quite pricey. So I have never bought anything from Dolls Kill, but on the website, I have a wish list with like a hundred items in it. And I honestly, I'm not lying. I think I log onto that website like once a week and I'm signed up to their newsletter and all these sort of things. And I've been in love with it because for every stage of my life, there's basically been a doll to represent me. So a couple of years ago, I was like hardcore, emo, goth, punk, whatever you want to call it. I didn't wear anything but black and I wore collared spikes and gloves and you know, like I wore it all. So there was a doll that represented my vibe back then. Recently, over the past few years, I've been wearing pastel and there's a doll to represent me now and I'm sure that you guys do this too like you go on there and you're like oh my god that is so beautiful and you scroll through and you're like oh it's so pretty but it's fifty dollars uh. that's literally me so anyway when they sent me an email I cried because <laughs> I've always wanted to shop at Dolls Kill and I mean the first time that I'm getting Dolls Kill clothing I didn't even have to pay for it, like they gave me this stuff for free. To cut a long story short, basically what happened was I kept getting requests popping up saying please do Dolls Kill. Like people just, I mean every time I posted a whole video people said please do Dolls Kill. And I was always like, oh yeah, I want to but it's kind of expensive. So what I did, I took screenshots of all of these people asking me to shop at Dolls Kill and I sent them an email and I was like, oh hey, I'm a YouTuber and a lot of my audience really wants me to do a Dolls Kill haul and I was wondering if you'd like to collab. And I didn't hear back from them for ages and I, I was like, obviously, I mean, psh, they're not going to contact me back. Like, I was just pulling at strings, so like, praying to the pastel gods that they were going to say yes. And then they did. And not only that, but they are literally sponsoring this video. I mean, what the... Who am I? <laughs> what is my life? I don't believe it. Without further ado, I'm going to open up that box and get into it. By the way, yes, the bird is real. This is Archie, he's my feathered son. If you don't like birds or you don't like bird noises, you should leave now because there's lots of other haul videos that don't have birds in them, so you should go and watch those. Okay, bye. Go on, I gotta try on the clothes now. Can you, can you, go. <laughs> Let's get into it. Look how big this box is, I'm so excited. So I asked my followers on Instagram, what would you like me to review? They told me, I sent a really, really big list to Dolls Kill and I said, any of these things would be great. I, I really don't mind any of them, like even one thing. Even one thing would be amazing. I'm not entirely sure what they've sent, but I really don't care what it is. I'm so excited. Well, I've opened up the box. Oh, and a bird flew out. I opened up the box and there's this awesome piece of paper. I've got to love attention to detail. That always sets a good start for the brand. Okay, the first thing I'm going to show you, I am the most excited about. Now, this one was suggested to me by one of my followers, but 
It's something that I've been eyeing off for ages. As soon as it was released, I had it on my wish list immediately. And this is the Forbidden Fruit Scort and Top. So it's got strawberries on it, and I love strawberries, and it's pink, and I'm dead. <laughs> right off the bat, this material is really nice. It's kind of like crepey material. It's not particularly soft, but it's very, very thick. And the stitching is really great. This is one of those things I can definitely see why it costs as much as it does because the quality is fantastic. I've a lot of my stuff here is from cheaper websites like Romwe or AliExpress and this is the sort of thing where you can really feel the difference. You can feel that this is amazing quality and there's a matching skirt. So this is a oh Okay, so it's a skort because it's literally a pair of shorts. I don't know if you can kind of tell from the back there, but it's a pair of shorts, but at the front, it looks like a skirt. So you can't actually tell that it's shorts. Now that's really interesting. I haven't actually seen anything like that before. So, and look, it's got this really cute little belt on it too. That's sweet. And that's made of, oh, oh look, look, please focus. It's got these cute little love hearts in it. See, this is what I'm talking about. Attention to detail. I can see why it costs as much as it does because the attention to detail is awesome. Okay guys, well here it is. Now the first problem I've encountered <coughs> is this. So I have a bra on underneath. Now admittedly it's not really a regular shaped bra, but you can see it because it's quite a plunging neckline. So my recommendation <coughs> here would be if you don't have negative A size boobs like me, then maybe you should size up one because this is a small and I'm gonna have to take my bra off for this and it's already quite tight. I highly recommend that if you are gifted in the breast department that you maybe size up one because you'll need that little bit of extra room. So I'll just take the bra off and show you what it looks like. Okay, so here it is. As you can see, it's quite plunging but it sits really, really snugly because there's a little ribbon that goes down here and loops through there and then you can tie it however you want. So I wrapped it around my body once and then tied it because I thought it could, it could look cute with that little bit there. But you could also just tie it once in a big bow at the back. Here are the pants or the skort. So that's how it kind of sits. So you can see that they're the shorts there and then it's got this little bit that sort of hangs down. Now, this is a size small, like I said, and I normally wear a size small, but there's a lot of room here. So I believe that this one, you would probably have to size down, or at least just double check the, double check the size chart, just to make sure, because I feel like as a, I'm pretty sure this is a small. What are you doing? Yeah, so just double check the size chart, because I do feel like this is just the tiniest little bit loose, but it does look lovely. There's the set. Oh, no, no. I think this is adorable, I'm so happy with it, and this set goes for, I think it's $45 each piece. So like I said, it's it's pricey, but it's made of really, really beautiful, lovely, thick material. So I think that this one is worth it for the price, and I think that it's really flattering too. Next up is an item that I've been eyeing off for so long, the moment that I saw it. I saw this on Instagram originally, and I died. And a lot of people have sent this to me in the past. They've screenshotted it and said, girl, you need this, you need this. So I'm so glad that they actually sent it. This is one of the things I was really, really hoping from the list that I sent them. I was so hoping that they would actually send it. Another one of my followers sent me this one, but this is another thing that I've been wanting for so long. This is the Confetti Cakes Oversized Cardigan. Yes! <laughs> I love it! The colours are so beautiful. You can kind of tell that I love rainbow pastel knitted things. And that's exactly what this is. And... Hang on. Oh my god! <laughs> Look! It's a gigantic safety pin! I don't believe... Is it real? Oh, oh my god, it's real! <laughs> So that's that. Archie, shush. Okay, now here's the cardigan. Now obviously you're not supposed to wear this on its own, but I've just put it on on its own because I didn't want to detract from the colours or anything like that. So it's got quite a low sort of neckline here. And it's got that beautiful, awesome, massive, giant safety pin. 
which is so cool. So it's quite long. It comes down to way, way, way down there. This would look really, really cute over a purple dress, like they styled it on the model. I love it. I think it's amazing. It's so awesome. I'm living for the pastel grandma aesthetic. I love it. And it's got these awesome pockets. I love pockets so much. So there it is. I don't believe this. I've been seeing, this is another thing I've been seeing on Instagram a lot. <laughs> so this is a set, this is a fur set, and it's got like a little belt kind of built into it already, which has little tiny sort of sparklies in it. And then the top is exactly the same. The top is a halter neck, and the halter neck part also has the little sparklies. The only thing for me is that it's not pastel pink, it's hot pink. So, I mean, I, I don't, I don't have any hot pink, so this is something that maybe I'll wear in sort of Instagram photos and maybe to parties or something like that, but it's not the sort of thing that I would wear every day. But I think a lot of things on Dolls Kill aren't necessarily everyday clothing unless you dress in that sort of style every day and that's your aesthetic and if it is I'm living for it and I love you because that's awesome. But for someone like me, I kind of just wear normal pastel -y clothes and then I wear crazy stuff like this on special occasions. I'm really excited about this. Peekaboo! Okay, now here's the first set. I'm having a tiny bit of a problem with this and that is I'm finding it a little bit hard to button up. Ugh. It's very, it's easy to do up but it's just, I'm a bit uncoordinated. Oh, there we go. I did it. You just have to kind of pop it in. Yeah, there. Actually, that wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. So here it is. Now, I love how soft it is. It's so lovely. It's the sort of material that when you push it down, it's really soft. And you push it up, and it's still soft, but it's not as soft. Does that make sense? <laughs> it's lovely. I'm not minding the hot pink. This is kind of like the Trisha Paytas kind of hot pink, whereas I'm more pastel pink. Anyway, I actually really like the cool studded belt. I feel like a Barbie. I 100% feel like a Barbie wearing this. Oh. So there it is. <laughs> I'm in love with this one. So this set, <laughs> this set for the two piece goes for $48. So I think for that, for two pieces, it's quite reasonable. The other ones were like $48 <laughs> for each piece, but this comes as a two piece set and it's only $48. I love it. I think it's so cool. I feel 100% like a Barbie doll. Definitely, definitely recommend this one. It's made really, really nicely too. The only thing that I can think of, the only issue is like with this kind of plasticky belts and it's plastic around there and also around here. So maybe if you were out partying, uh, it could possibly get like hot and sticky and sweaty. A little bit like those boots that that funny sweat drama happened with. That's the only thing I could think of. I mean, I'm not experiencing that right now, but I'm just trying to sort of think about, I'm trying to think pros and cons for all these things. So that could possibly be a con, I'm not sure. Love it. I think this is my favorite thing so far. Next up is a set that Again, when it dropped on the on the store, I added it to my cart immediately and I've seen a lot of influencers floating around wearing this set online and it's beautiful. I believe that it's part of this new Lolita collection. This is called the Candy Ruffle set. So there's an adorable pair of shorts. Now, I'm a little tiny bit worried about this because I don't really like to show off my legs. I often keep them covered at least sort of like halfway above the thigh is where I normally try to sort of stop showing things because the top part of my thighs don't look so great so I don't really like to show off my upper legs so I'm a little bit nervous um, <laughs> I've lost a lot of weight over the past few years so I have a lot of kind of like excess skin on my thighs and I know that it won't show up on camera and people are gonna be like eh, the stupid skinny bitch is complaining about her fatty thighs leave me alone so I'm a little bit nervous about trying these because they do look like they're gonna come up quite high but we'll see how we go and then there's the matching bralette so both the items the shorts and the bralette have this beautiful frilly lacy detail can you not <laughs> and it's got this lovely red checkered pattern as well so this is gorgeous and I'm so excited to photograph this. Well, here it is. This is very, 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 very small. I mean, it was small on the website, so I probably should have known. But, I, 
I feel like I can probably wear this top maybe underneath something else, like if I had a, a sheer thing to wear over the top, or maybe a at least a cardigan or something, but I don't think that just walking around in everyday life, I don't think I could wear this. I think I could absolutely wear it at the beach. I think I could wear it at the beach comfortably, but I don't think I would wear it to a shopping mall or anything like that. And the shorts, now the shorts run very, very small. There they are. I'm sorry. Inappropriate bum. I'm not quite sure what I think about this. Like, if, if this is your sort of style, if you feel like you could wear this and pull it off, then by all means go for it. I kind of feel like for me, I, I, I wouldn't feel comfortable wearing this anywhere other than the beach. So it looks like each piece here goes for about $45. And I do think that it's worth it because it's made very well. However, some people might be like, that's not worth it because look how small it is. But it is beautiful. So if you're into this sort of thing, or maybe you go to festivals, or you're hanging around the beach a lot, or you really like to wear shorter things out, then 100% go for it. This is, it's very cute, and I do love the frills. I think it's adorable. Now, anyone that's been around for a little while knows that I always like to ask people to send me black items too. Even though I don't really wear black myself, I ask them to send black things because I know that a whole bunch of people that watch my videos do wear black. So the first black item, we're going with a cherry motif in this video. This is called the Juicy Bite Collared Bodysuit. Okay, right off the bat, this feels really nice. This material is quite thick and it's very soft as well. It's gonna pass the test of the Archie chewing test. That's kind of a, a good way to determine if something is thick or not, whether Archie could chew a hole in it. It's got this beautiful little cherry uh, patch here that is a, that's really, really cute. And Archie thinks that it's edible, but it's most certainly not. And then the beautiful white collar. Okay, so here's the bodysuit. I've put it on with a pink skirt just because I wanted to show you what it looks like with a skirt. I'm so in love with this. I think this is one of the nicest bodysuits I've ever worn in my entire life. Look how cool this is. It kind of feels a little tiny bit tight. That's my only concern. And also, I mean, I didn't really have to stretch it to clip it up at the bottom, I, but I do recommend maybe you go one size up in this one. Like I said before, negative size boobs. So I think that if you have anything here, you might need to get a little bit of a size up because this is quite tight for me. This is a small. And I normally wear a US size 2. So I maybe would go one size up in this, get a medium potentially. Dolls Kill doesn't do returns, which is part of the reason that I was always hesitant because I was a little bit worried, what if I buy it and it doesn't fit and then I can't return it? But they do exchanges. So this is the sort of thing where I would recommend maybe buy the medium to be safe. And let's say hypothetically you get the medium and it is too big for you then you can always return it and get the small. But, I mean, I, it's no issue for me, I'm just saying it's a tiny bit tight, not enough to be a problem though, so. This is so incredibly flattering as far as I'm concerned. You might not agree, but I think any sleeves that are this length, I think that they just look really nice and, oh, I just, oh, I love it so much and I don't even care that it's not pastel because this is, I'm, I am shaken to my core. I love how, I just, ah! The next item I'm super excited about. I've said that about literally everything so far, haven't I? Yeah, I have. This one comes in, there's the pants and there's also a top, but I believe that the top is sold out. And I'm really, really sad because when I saw it on the site, I was like, ah, that is so terrible. A couple of weeks ago, I posted a pretty little thing haul and I got a cherry set in that haul, like a, a black two-piece cherry set and I wasn't sure if I should keep or return it because I don't really wear a lot of black but a whole bunch of people were like please keep the cherry set I love it I love it I love it so I saw this this is a white cherry set and I was like yes but the top was out of stock so I'm really 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 hoping that it comes back in stock but here are the pants there they are so these aren't very long I think they kind of stop just above the ankle so I don't think that they would be full length pants on anyone. I think they're collots. They'll definitely be collots on me because I'm about five foot nine, but he literally just pulled my arm up. What do you want? You want it? You want 
a scratch. <laughs> so I'm very excited about this and I really, really, really hope that the top comes back in stock because I want to get the top so I can have the matching set. So here are the cherry pants. Now I'm going to try and show you the full length. Hang on, let's see if I can do it. Whoa, whoa, here comes Archie. <laughs> he wants to see. So there they are. Like I said, they come up quite short, but they're going to look really cool with a pair of high heels. I think they're beautiful. They fit really nicely. They're a tiny little bit loose around here, but that's okay. I don't mind. These were a size small as well. I can just imagine how nice this would look with the shirt. I think it would look so good. Look, Archie likes it because it's green. He has a little bit of an obsession with anything that's got green on it. So I love these. And the last item to match in with the cherry motif in this video, this is called the Pretty Please dress. It's called Pretty Please. Pretty pastel please. I was like, could you not have made it pink? And then it would have actually been literally me in dress form. So here's this one. And this on the model looked so good and I'm really, really, really excited about this one. A lot of people have been telling me I should wear blue because it matches my red hair. So we'll see if this looks good on me. Okay, we're in. I kind of feel like you need a, an engineering degree to get into this one. That was a little bit difficult, but oh, so worth it. Oh my god. Ah, I love this. This is amazing. Ah, I absolutely love things with this neckline. Yeah, Archie. Wow. There it is. Ah. Okay, so that's how it does up at the back. I think this is one of the cutest dresses I've ever tried on. This is so beautiful. I'm in love with it. Ah. Wow. Okay, so I suppose blue does look kind of good. I, I like the blue. I think it looks nice with my red hair. I just love the cherries. The cherries are so sweet. And this neckline is stunning. And ah, I love that it cinches in here at the waist and then it sort of flares out. So beautiful. This one is like 11 out of 10 for me. I'm so happy with it. It has a zipper at the side here and that zipper helps you to get into it and then cinch it up so that it fits really nicely. So I, dolls kill. You're killing it. I love it. And then the very last item that they sent me, once again, cherry, <laughs> this cherry tart cutout dress. Now, this is the only thing so far that I'm not particularly impressed with, only because it's not very thick at all. Like, it's it's very, very thin. And I know that this sort of material, this is quite stretchy, like, watch. See how it kind of goes transparent when it stretches? Like, it's black and white now, but then I stretch it and it kind of goes transparent. So this is the sort of thing where if this stretches at all over my bum, you're gonna be able to see my undies. So, a little bit apprehensive about that. Okay, so here's the cherry tart cutout dress. Now, this is a little bit strange because your boobs are meant to go into this bit here and it's fine for me because I don't have very big boobs, but if you had like B or C or D cup boobs, they would probably like spill out, I think. So if you like this dress, size up in this one as well, I would say. And I think that this set comes in a few variations. I think that it's got like a top and pants set as well. So look, I think this is super cool. It's a little bit short uh, and it's quite tight too, but I don't think that it's too see-through. No, it's not, it's not really too see-through. I was a little bit worried about that, but I think it looks really cool. This dress is $40 and I think $40 is totally fine for this. Like it's a really awesome design. Love the print, love that. I love all the cherries all over it. So this is really cool. Love this one. Okay guys, well, that's everything. I've tried everything on. I loved all of it. There's a few things here that I, I know I'm going to wear a lot more than others, but definitely all of it, I think the quality, absolutely, Dolls Kill quality, I can see why they charge what they do because the quality is amazing and I'm pretty sure that all of this stuff is either made in America or there's a couple of brands like Sugar Pill 
clothing and that's made in Europe. Yeah. So yeah, I just want to say a huge thank you to Dolls Kill. I want to say the biggest thank you ever to Dolls Kill for sending me these beautiful items. I absolutely love them. Totally hit me up if you uh, want to collab again because this is one of my favorite brands. It has been for so many years. I know so many of you guys really look forward to one day buying from Dolls Kill as well, or you buy heaps of stuff from Dolls Kill already. I mean, they have like a million followers on Instagram. Like clearly they're a very popular brand for a reason. What do you think, Archie? Do you like it? Please drop a comment below and let me know what your favorite item was. All of the links are in the description box below. Definitely check out Dolls Kill. I love this brand so much and now that I've finally experienced the quality for myself, I can 100% say that it's totally worth it. And for so many years I put off buying anything because I was like, oh it's a little bit expensive, but this is the sort of brand that I would, hey don't undo that. This is the sort of brand I would recommend save up a little bit for and buy that thing that you want. Definitely buy it. I mean, there's this skirt that I really, really, really want and I think I'm going to buy it now. Like, now that I've seen these things and tried them, I'm absolutely going to buy that skirt. And everything under the Coco doll or whatever she's called, I want all of it. It's all so adorable. So I'm going to do a massive shop for sure now that I've tried it. And I really, really appreciate Dolls Kill sending me this stuff. Thank you so much. If you have any other brands that you want to try out, please let me know down below. Don't forget to keep an eye out for the next couple of hauls that I have coming up. I've got some really, really fun ones. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!